Hey guys, this is Jeff from InMotion Hosting. Um, today what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to disable the WP Cron in WordPress. And then what you're going to do is you're going to be able to enable it on the server side. So it only runs server side. It actually saves you a whole lot of resources and is a lot more useful if you're running such a, a, such thing as a test environment where you don't have users constantly hitting the site but you still want to be able to run your crons because of course WP cron doesn't run if a user's not visiting your site um, so let's go ahead and just jump right into it here um, we're first we're in the cPanel file manager as you are uh, in the cPanel itself as you can see but we're gonna jump in the file manager just go ahead and click that file manager icon there and of course you can edit this file any way you want really it, um, you can do it by FTP SSH however you want to do it um, but for the example we're just going to use the cPanel file manager here um, got a little WordPress test environment set up on slash test so we're gonna jump right on over to there and then we're gonna see this WP config file here we're just gonna right click that and click on code edit and then click edit again and we are now looking at our WP config file now we just gotta add one quick line here so let's just jump down to the bottom of the page here and then do it a fine disable WP cron and then we're gonna set that to true and I can't type today at all um, so <laughs> what we're gonna do is see see how we set that there so what that does is define the define line there define something in WordPress that needs to be set uh, various setting that might already be in in the WordPress core and then disable WP cron so we're gonna say hey let's look for the setting in WordPress called WP cron and then we're going to um, or it's called the disable WP cron and set that to true so simple as that really now WP cron is completely disabled on your site now of course if you have scheduled posts and things like that you're gonna have to post those um, so we need to set that to run somewhere and in this case we're gonna run that in the server side of things makes things a whole lot smoother we know it's running every single time without any flaw ready to go um, so what we're gonna do is is jump back over to cPanel here and click on cron jobs now the cron job that we need to run um, is basically all we need to do is execute the, the wpcron.php file every six hours. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to do cd slash home slash, and in my case my username in cPanel is jeffma9. So we're going to do cd slash home slash jeffma9 slash public underscore html. And then put a semicolon at the end of that. You can't quite see it in the in the entry field here, but it is there. Just make sure you have that in there. Um, and then we're gonna do the space PHP tag Q WP cron dot cron dot PHP. Boom. So what that does right there is the command that we're running. Um, it changes directory. CD is change directory, um, and it it's, it jumps you over to your main public HTML directory. Then what it does is it sends, it basically says, all right, run this PHP file. Oops, and I have a typo. Make sure you don't do that. Tag Q. Um, and so, for example, my la my sub test, -a, test, -a, test environment that I was just editing that was on public HTML slash test. So we're going to fix that as well here. Um, so we got we got our we got our command that that executes our WP cron file. Now we need to now all we need to do is schedule that to run every six hours. Super simple. All you're gonna have to do is just do on the zero minute of every six hours here on every day on every month, and we'll do every weekday as well. So every single day it's gonna run every six hours. Perfect. So we just click add that cron job. Boom. So now what happens is we're all set. We disable WP cron within WordPress itself. So that's no longer going to fire. As well as we now enable the WP cron to execute at the specific time that we want it to happen on, a, on the back end of our server here. Um, so you're ready to rock and roll. You're going to save some more, so many resources just by doing that. Your test environments are still going to fire their crons just on time perfectly. And, uh, and, and everybody's happy. So thanks, guys, for watching the video. Have a great day, and keep having fun with WordPress.